Okay, I'm out here by the uh, pig pen. And <clears throat> I was telling you guys earlier, um, in a, oh, a couple months ago, whatever, I've got to uh, make a change with the crate that I haul the pigs in. And I, I already made the change. My son showed up uh, a couple days ago and he uh, took over the welding. And uh, I'll show you what we did, what it looked like prior, and what we did now. You see how I cut the uh, top open? I bought this thing out of junkyard. This was here, okay? I have a door that I've made up. So to get in here, you would actually have to duck to get in with two other pigs. We cut the end off right here. We cut the end off. It was just that top bar that you see, okay? Went here. Now this was all open because I have some boards. I'll show you how this all works. And, um, but what we had to do is I had some steel pieces laying around, two of these. They're eight foot long, one there, one over there. And I had a C-channel up there. You have to support from there to there because if you didn't, these two pieces just flopped around. There was nothing to them. So we had to reattach up top. So now we can pass through all we want. All right, we can walk through here as much as we want. No big deal. Everything's good. And, and I'll show you how this all works. Okay, I've got the uh, cage back. Look at her. She's laying in the water. <laughs> I just filled that up. Anyway, back to this. Here's the setup. The gate is no longer in there. This is pushed all the way up. If you see that rope, you know, like a guillotine type setup, that door slides in a slot. And then you can see the slide that goes down in. There's one there. There's one right there. What you doing, girls? That's it, and they are in. That was simple and easy, guys. That's it. They're in for the night. I'll throw some more hay in there. And when I get it to the trailer, I have a, um, it's a black rubber uh, drum where they can get water. Um, I will spray them down when I get up over there, get them sprayed down, washed up a little bit, and um, cool them down some. I waited till the sun was going down. Let me turn this phone, this radio off. Hold on, guys. I don't know. It's probably like 6.30ish, and it is cooler. Today was supposed to be one of the hot days, and tomorrow is supposed to be cold front. But anyway, um, they're doing pretty good, and they're both in there. They're both chowing down. Uh, nobody fought. It was pretty easy. A lot easier than the last batch I did in February. The uh, 450, 460 and 440 pound one. Yeah. I will do my guess on weight. I have not been in there at all this year to do the measurement weighing because of my knee. I'm going to guess that the white one weighs... 300-ish, 320, 300. I'm going to say the red one is in the area of 260-ish in that area, 270. But I'll know the true weights tomorrow when we uh, bring them in. And they'll put them across the scales. And there they are. They're on there. I just hose them down real good. I just dragged this whole thing all the way up here with the tractor. Dragged it. Set my ramps up and then push it right on up on the trailer. Works good. Okay, everybody. I just uh, got the what my live weight was in my dress weight um, on, my, on my two pigs. The uh, white one weighed 300 pounds. 
which I was pretty close there. And my red one weighed 265. Um, that is live weight. Uh, dressed is, I guess they call it carcass, and I'll let you all figure that out. Um, so the uh, the white one um, is 257's carcass, and the yellow one was 229, the red one. Now, um, Thursday, I will find out what my bring home weight is and um, on, on both pigs um, after they process them. All right, and the cured, the, the, uh, cured pork, um, smoked and, you know, bacon and all that good stuff, the hams, I don't pick that stuff up until the 6th. And Friday, I pick up the rest of this pig meat. This is coming Friday, so. Okay, well, there's the update. And when I uh, get the the uh, total on the other weights, I will do it on my shed wars because I'll have my total for all my gardening. Everything will be on that on that there. All right, we'll talk to you later. You all have a great day. Thanks again. Bye.